Hey, shit. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So, we're here to do the Daily Collective for Monday, December 4th. Okay. This is a message for Monday, December 4th. Now, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. Okay. That's very important. Okay. There's no possible way that the message can hit everyone. Okay. But it may hit people in different ways. Okay. So, let's see. What do we have for the collective? I'm using the Quantum Oracle deck. What do we have for the collective for Monday, December 4th? Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, please make it clear. Monday, December 4th. Travel. Okay, so you have the travel card. Okay, so you may be going on a trip in your favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Bottom of the deck says intuition and manifestation. Okay, the spirit card. Okay, so listen to your intuition maybe when it comes to a travel venture. Okay, because this event is a travel, you know, it says event. So you could be actually going somewhere. Okay, but let's look at the overall energy, which is... Number three. Okay, right. So. so it says the crystal ball. A woman looks at a beautiful crystal ball on a velvet covered table. The orb reflects the light of the room and is surrounded by the light of spirit. Yet we can see a misty image in the center. The message here is that your future potential is available to you now, both to see and to change. The more you learn to trust your intuition, the more you will be able to know what is down the road for you. Not only that, you'll be able to get flashes of insight about what you need to do now to forge the future you desire. This card upright is telling you that you have the clarity to create the vision of what you want and the energetic ability to make it real. You have the power of manifestation and it's time to take it serious. Also, if you've been thinking about developing a career or an avocation in the art of mediumship or oracle card readings, this card is giving you the green light. Your intuitive powers are expanding. So open up to the messages that are so clearly available to you. Okay. All right. Let's see what this message is all about, okay? Because you could be, I don't know, I'm getting the energy of, like, if you are into, like, spirituality and, you know, you're trying to manifest different opportunities for yourself, um, you could be traveling to pursue this, okay? You could be um, encouraged to go and travel. Lots well, intuition and manifestation here for the collective, Okay. Even if you're not, okay, your intuition could be telling you that you may need to travel in order to really expand on what it is you're trying to uh, create in your life, okay? It may involve traveling. Why is spirit here? I mean, why is intuition and manifestation here? Okay. Purifying. Purge, healing, clean energy, okay? With mirror on the bottom. Reflection, shared feelings, you. Okay. I feel like as you hear, you heal, you'll be able to hear your intuition better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time and second chance. Okay. Let's clarify this more. Okay. So listen to your intuition. You could be manifesting something right now. Maybe because you are healing. For the collective, please clarify intuition and manifestation with purifying. The Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you, keeping a very close eye on you. Okay. 
with the page of source energy and with the nine of pentacles they're just watching how independent you are how stable you are how much you're growing um financially in your um career in your endeavors okay justice and the ten of cups okay and they're seeing you as like the perfect candidate and well, that's like the wrong way to say it but someone is seeing you as like ideal okay they feel like you're the you're the you know you're right okay with the six of wands energy this is about accomplishing something achievements um goals success okay i feel like someone has been keeping an eye on you okay and they're seeing you as just you're, you're like the perfect you know you're perfect in order to reach a certain listen ten of pentacles okay someone is definitely seeing you as perfect for them okay with the magician energy and the high priestess okay this can be someone feeling like they manifested you okay um you can be feeling like you were manifested okay but spirit wants you to listen to your intuition okay there could be a new beginning on the table with the ace of wands a new spark new inspiration a new opportunity that might even include travel okay with the judgment energy and the five of wands this can be because i saw the second chance card in this deck okay right this could be a second opportunity uh, like a second chance to recover something after like calm uh, drama karma conflict okay um but someone's definitely keeping an eye on you and they're seeing you as the perfect candidate <laughs> why do you saying candidate the perfect person it could be you could be like a candidate for like a job position or something like that and this could involve traveling all right maybe because you someone is healing or you're healing um and someone's seeing your growth how stable you are your potential and seeing you as the perfect person okay so you have travel here Number, is it a three? Listen, I can't see where for. That's a five. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe it's because, listen, you're not even going to, I'm not even going to talk. It's like five o'clock in the morning right now. Okay. So it says moving on the card. It says a suitcase stands outside a beautiful door bordered by flowers, indicating there's some travel forecasted for you. This could pretend anything from a short driving trip to an extended vacation. However, it manifests. A positive experience is at hand. There's also a possibility of a re relocation for you at this time. You may be buying a new house in the area or moving. Yeah, buying a new house in the area or moving to another city entirely. There could also be a move where work is concerned such as transferring of offices or going to a new job entirely. If this card is near the transformation card in your spread, some significant interchanges can be expected. This is a perfect time to make the energetic intention to move into a more joyous and optimistic mindset. Let yourself travel through each day with happiness. Even if you can't get out of town, you can always take a vacation from negativity, okay? So I feel like with the opportunity that's coming forward towards you, um, it is something that you manifest. The spirit wants you to listen to your intuition because remember we saw the high priestess and the magician card here, right? Okay, let's see what this is about. Okay, with the purifying card in you, someone could want to heal things with you. This could be someone from your past. This could even be an opportunity from your past, okay? Yeah. With nourish here, self harmony, soul growth, comfort. Okay. And farewells. Okay. Yeah. Goodbyes, finality, closure. Okay. So this can be like being okay with saying goodbye, being okay with releasing past, being okay with moving on. Okay. 
moving into a different um, experience, okay, that you feel like is better for you, is best for you, okay, with the chase, okay, preparation, relentless pursuit, victory, okay, with shallow, superficiality, boredom, blank, emotional whirlwind, okay, let's clarify this message. Why travel here? Okay, because remember, the card did say you taking a trip or um, a break away from negativity can also, you know, represent this card. Why is travel here? Okay, it's like when you did that, it's like now things are starting to come in for you. When you started to, like, focus more on yourself. Okay, yeah, with the three of wands. Okay, what you've been waiting for is coming in. Okay, with the strength card and the two of wands. Okay. Yeah. Someone could have even been like resisting a choice. Okay. This is, you know, like resisting a choice or putting up blocks towards an opportunity. Okay. But what you've been waiting for is coming in. Okay. Yeah. With the devil energy. Mm -hmm. The king of cups and the six of cups. Okay. The devil energy can be like an unhealthy attachment. That's why it's like, you know, uh, self-harmony. I mean, the nourish card here, self-harmony, soul growth, comfort. And um, farewells was on, on the bottom of the deck when that card came out. Okay, so it's like being okay with releasing negativity, with, with releasing the past, with releasing things that are holding you back. Okay, something you've been waiting for is coming in for you. Okay. You have the high priestess energy. The Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, Hierophant, okay? Yeah, someone is using their intuition, all right? Yeah, someone's using their intuition. They're, they're okay with releasing what's not serving them. They're okay with, re with releasing the past, okay? With releasing a hold. And they're using their intuition as far as, like, what's right for them. If this is in relation to, like, a relationship or partnership, Okay, someone could see you as a stable partner, a stable individual with the Queen of Pentacles, and they want to nurture this. They want to give more to this. Okay, they want an equal partnership. Okay, with the higher energy, right? They want to build on that. Okay, they want to, you know, Ace of Pentacles, like see what this could be. Okay, like they see it, but they want to actually pursue it. Yeah, someone's definitely using their intuition. Let's see, what is this devil energy? You might see it as negative. Maybe because it has taken so long. The spirit wants you to use your intuition. Why is the devil energy here? For the collective. devil energy okay the knight of cups no i'm sorry the knight of wands the queen of swords and the ten of pentacles seven of cups on the bottom okay the knight of rods the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So someone being in and out of, in and out when it comes to like making a decision about like long term, about like being in a commitment with the Hierophant energy, or um, being in they being in like even partnership or um, combining like the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is like happily ever after family marriage commitment. Okay, um, partnership abundance growth together okay someone has been you know very in and out when it comes to making a decision about that because with the seven of cups and the two of cups someone was more so uh maybe 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 you've been like worried about you know being in partnership because of a third party okay because of someone else all right this could even be because of family and friends but they're making an offer okay 
So this devil energy um, is just someone who is like kind of just in and out of making a decision when it comes to that. But with the nurse card being here, it seems like someone is okay with doing what's best for them and releasing, saying farewell to a situation, to a way of life or a way of doing things. And they're in pursuit with the chase card. So that's what I have for you, Shug. <laughs> I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.